How are you, everybody? Uh, so I am going to start with a line that says, racing, that always lets you win. So do you have any idea about this? Because uh, so many of you watch racing, and you always look for the winner. Yes? So I am going to talk about something that will let you always win, despite you are losing there. So uh, let's start with a photo. This is a photo. Uh, you can see a helmet guy and a spectacle guy. I, I have no idea if you can see there. There are two guys. Uh, this is actually me. I am taking our first car. It was a quad bike, uh, a ATV car. And it was going to Kolkata Howrah Railway Station. And we're in a lorry. It, it was an open lorry. And uh, we have no idea how we, can, how we are going to take this car to Coimbatore, Chennai. And this, uh, this is our status when we started in 2016. And finally, uh, you can see the, the quad bike has already reached to the station. And finally, we're at the venue. And this was our result. And this was our, actually our story we starts with rejection. Uh, when we started to dream about making our dream car, we got about 100 to 200 rejection from companies. They're not going to support us. So we managed somehow, uh, we collected funds from crowdfunding and our alumni and managed somehow to reach that event. And the result was uh, okay for us because we had no support. We got, we got the sixth place and a token of gratitude for that performance. So moving on from 2016, we decided to uh, build something like this. It was the concept, and it was the final result. So you can feel the change. Anyone? You can feel the change. In one year, we, from nothing, to we went to build a race car like a Formula student car. That was our story. So I'll going to, I'm going to brief our story and how we made our car into a reality. So I'm going back to the story. Uh, this is our team. These are the co-founders. And this is the current team. Almost 50 students are working for our team, are working for our dream race car. So what is Formula Student? Formula Student is uh, just like an event. Uh, you have known about Formula One. Formula student is just like the Formula One for students. And in this event, every student team is just treated like a business entity. And they have to do all their manufacturing, designing, concept, supply chain management. And even they have to present an business, a business plan that will last for minimum five years. And you have to take this car as a prototype and prove that your business is going to be successful in five years. And that's just a miniature scale of Formula One. So you can compare this, this diagram with this car. Uh, on the left, you can see a Formula One car diagram. And on the right, you can see the Formula Students car. So uh, this is our story. So how we ended up in Formula Student. So. Uh, why in Formula Student, there are some s set of rules that is all uh, ev everywhere followed. Uh, and Formula Student has some specific rules like this. You have, to, uh, you have to maintain the measurements. You have to maintain the standards. You have to maintain the designs and innovate within the limits. That is the challenge. That is the design challenge. And Formula Student is considered the biggest student design challenge all over the world. For every, every faculty, it is the most complicated design challenge 
for everyone. Uh, you can go search for this. And this is our team structure. Our team starts with a technical team, and equally, a business team is responsible for the business purposes. So our team ha doesn't have to be just technical. Our team have to be business oriented and also technical. And our team is divided, uh, technical team is divided in some major parts. There are vehicle dynamics, body, uh, chassis, and analysis team, electrical team, and so on, powertrain team. So that, that's the division. So that's why we have a big team to support all the back-end works to make the car. So I'm going to the design section. We have to use so many softwares for designing the vehicle. First, we have to concept the idea to build the car. And then we go to the software to analyze what we have designed in our mind. So we use the softwares like SOLIDWORKS, Ricardo, uh, Katia, uh, and ANSYS for simulation, uh, Lotus Shark, uh, suspension anal analysis for uh, suspension design, and so on. And uh, the software needs so much skillful people to work and design and analyze this thing. So it's not an easy task, but uh, it's not impossible. Because uh, when we started to make the race car, people couldn't find the necessity why we should take the pain of designing a race car and also take it to an international event and spend so much money on this. And uh, what is the fascination behind this? Because uh, we, we love technology. We love to build something that is making, uh, that is going to make some different. And that is our story. And from the concept, the car uh, is manufactured within eight months. That was also a challenge, because an average formula student team takes two years to concept and design and manufacture their car, because there is a big task of managing the funds. The funding is also a big part of this event, because if, if a, do not have a big amount of money backed for your manufacturing, you can't build a car actually. So what are the opportunities you get from this event? Because Formula Student is, uh, I have mentioned Formula Student is just like the Formula One. And Formula One peoples are also oriented with Formula Students. And not only Formula One, uh, they are racing like MotoGP, eight hour endurance race, uh, super formula, electric formula, uh, and formula two. Every, every motorsport industry is oriented with this type of uh, student design challenges like formula student, formula student Germany, formula SAE Italy, formula SAE Japan, formula SAE India, and so on. There are so many events going uh, all around the world. It is just like the, uh, the championship uh, you, you have seen in football or cricket, and it goes all around the year, and students are so much busy making this design into a successful car. And this is the opportunity that you can get to meet these people who are from the professional background, who are going to teach you about the professional experiences they, are, they, are, they have experienced already, and they suggest you to improve your design, improve your skills, and that is the success story. And this type of event, when you go to this type of events, uh, you can see this type of cars. And it was a dream come true moment for me and my team that we can get to see a real Formula car with our own eyes. It was a super Formula Honda uh, car that was a winner in 2008. And it was, a, it was an amazing experience. I can't explain that I am watching this car from my eyes. And average people who regularly follow the Formula events, they have a dream to see the car in front of them, but they can't. They have, they have just the opportunity to look from the grandstand or the gallery. But we have got that opportunity to see the car from 
our own eyes. And that's not the end. We opened up the car and analyzed the mechanisms, what is going inside the car. They have some secrets, and uh, we, we can watch it from our experience. And we can analyze, we can uh, search for technologies, we can follow the rules, what, what they followed for designing the car, and they also shared their stories about how they designed the car. And you can see, this is a super formula steering. And do you have any idea how much money goes into designing this steering wheel alone? Any idea? Uh, about 100,000 to $1 million. It's, it's not that expensive because uh, the supercomputer installed in this steering is going to manage everything from the team radio to the differential balance to the braking system to the uh, steering system everything is controlled through this mechanism and that's why it takes so much effort and investment to research on this thing only and i, I can't explain that how happy i was to hold this in my own hand so uh, these, are the, these are some cars from other uh, formula racing. This is an electric car, the blue one. And the yellow one is also a super formula car. Uh, this was an Autobax car. This was a Toyota Mirai. That was not released yet when we visited the formula student event. It was that unreleased version. And it was worth $5 million alone for, in Japan. And maybe it is released already, but in 2017 it was unreleased. And it was an amazing ex experience to uh, watch this car in front of us. So uh, I was talking about the opportunities. So I have concluded something about the opportunities. And these events and these projects teach you something that you are not going to, you are not supposed to be learning from other things. That is the technical skills, it will force you to learn the softwares and the design skills that needs to be the industry leader. You have to learn the managerial skills that needs to manage so many people because I was the captain of my team and I had to manage almost 50 to 60 people at a time and uh, make the best out of them, uh, get the best out of them. And there are some problem solving skills you learn. You can learn decision making. You learn critical thinking for uh, solving the problems and managing the car to reach the event and perform best among everyone. So uh, before finishing off, I have asked you a question. This racing lets you always win. Have you got the idea? Even if you lose in the race, you learn so many things. You can watch so many items, and you can meet so many peoples from all over the world. You can, if you join this event, if you perform the design skills, if you perform the managerial skills, and finally make your way to the formula racing, and you can get all the things you get here. So I'll encourage you, the students who are studying in the universities and have passion for motorsports, they should have joined some events like Formula Students, Baha SAE, and so, so other, there, there are ATV contests, off-roader, Dakar contests. Uh, there, there are so many contests. So please, uh, I'll insist the people who are watching this, they should have join this kind of events in their university teams and many so many international events goes on all over the year so uh, please and that's what, that was my story that was my journey to the 2017 student formula japan and thank you thank you for giving your time